Ever wondered what it's like to be an African living in Germany? Ever pondered the experience of an individual hailing from the lush landscapes of Kenya, now navigating the bustling streets of Berlin? Today we delve into the life of such an individual, debunking common misconceptions and shedding light on the reality of being African in Germany. Our first question to our Kenyan friend is, do you live in a hut in Africa? A common stereotype, yet far from the truth. He laughs, explaining that while some rural areas have traditional housing, most Kenyans live in houses or apartments, much like in any other country. Next, we ask, do you have electricity and running water in Africa? He nods, explaining that while infrastructure varies, many parts of Kenya have access to these basic amenities, with cities like Nairobi being as modern as any other major city in the world. Do you speak African? We continue. He chuckles at this, explaining there's no such language as African. Kenya alone has over 40 languages, with English and Swahili being the official ones. Have you ever seen a lion in your backyard? We ask. He shakes his head, amused. Wildlife, he explains, is typically found in national parks and reserves, not residential areas. We then inquire, what's it like to not have cars or public transportation in Africa? He corrects this misconception, stating that public transportation and personal vehicles are commonplace, especially in urban areas. Do you have internet access in Africa? We ask. He confirms with a nod explaining that Kenya has one of the most robust internet infrastructures in Africa with widespread access to high-speed internet and its own established mobile banking wallet. We proceed with, do you wear traditional African clothing every day? He explains that while traditional attire holds a special place, most Kenyans wear contemporary clothing on a day-to-day -day basis. Is everyone in Africa poor and hungry, we ask? He shakes his head emphasizing that while poverty exists, as it does everywhere, Africa also has thriving cities, successful businesses, and a growing middle class. Did you have to learn German when you moved here from Africa? He nods, explaining that learning the language was essential for integration, but English and Swahili remain close to his heart. Finally, we ask, can you teach me some tribal dances from Africa? He laughs, explaining that Africa is rich in cultural diversity, with countless dances. He'd be happy to share a few Kenyan moves, he adds. To sum it up, our Kenyan friend's experience highlights the need for understanding and debunking stereotypes. His life in Germany is a blend of two cultures, each unique and beautiful in its own right. His answers remind us that while we may come from different corners of the world, our experiences are more similar than they are different, and there's always more to learn about each other. His story is one of many, painting a diverse and vibrant picture of what it truly means to be an African living in Germany.